Danielle from Ocean Connectors. I love food, and wasting food is always a bummer. So what do we do? We save our leftovers. Think about some of the items that you have in your own home that you use to save your leftovers. Did you think about plastic wrap? Or maybe you thought about a Ziploc bag. And what about if you go out to eat? Right now, many of our favorite places to go out to eat are closed. So a lot of us are getting takeout more often. And this comes with a lot of single use plastics. Think about it. Do you get a drink? Does it have a straw, a plastic lid? Does your takeout come in a plastic bag to carry it all home? And what about plastic utensils? Or even the little individual to-go packets of ketchup, soy sauce, or salsa? Plastic is everywhere. And much of it is intended for one-time use only before it's thrown away. Now, think about those plastic produce bags that we all get at the grocery store. We grab our produce, we take it home, put it away, and then most people throw these bags right out. And if we think about all the items that we order, either online or pick up in the store, they usually come wrapped in some sort of plastic wrappers or packaging like this one. And the plastic doesn't stop there. When those packages come to us, a lot of times they have plastic inside them to help protect your items, like bubble wrap which, when we open our new product, gets immediately thrown away. The problem is, all this plastic is piling up in our landfills and in the environment. And the plastic doesn't always stay where it should be. Many items end up on the ground or in the oceans, either from blowing out of trash cans when getting picked up, that tricky birthday balloon that floated away, or even when people intentionally litter. Litter gets washed away into our rivers, lakes, streams, and into our oceans. Birds, sea turtles, and other animals see trash and associate it with food and end up eating it. And not only does it harm the wildlife, as these animals cannot digest the plastic, once that animal dies and decomposes, the plastic is then set free again into the environment to potentially cause more damage. One huge example is the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Have you heard of it? It is a massive collection of trash that is floating in the North Pacific Ocean between Japan and the west coast of North America, and it is twice the size of Texas. The ocean currents pull this trash together in two main swirling vortexes of garbage. What's even scarier, scientists have found that around 70% of the trash that ends up in the ocean sinks to the bottom. So what we're seeing floating on the surface is only a mere fraction of all the trash that's there. And why don't we want trash in our oceans? Well, besides it being gross, and many of us who live near the coast want clean beaches to enjoy, many plastics simply just break down into tinier and tinier pieces, eventually becoming microplastics, which fish can eat and these plastics then enter the food chain and possibly could even end up on your plate. Plastic has been made to last and last it does. Even sitting in a landfill, some plastic items can take hundreds of years to break down. The time it takes for a plastic item to break down can vary depending on the weather, climate, type of plastic, amount of sun exposure, and even the thickness of the product. But on average, a plastic straw can take 200 years to break down. A plastic water bottle, 450 years. And fishing line can take up to 600 years to break down. And when the plastics do start to break down through photodegradation, they can leach out harmful chemicals and colorants into the environment. Okay, we've heard enough of the bad news, but what progress have we made? The good news is that some areas are taking steps to try to lessen plastic waste. Grocery stores have started charging for their plastic bags in the hopes to convince buyers to bring their own reusable ones. Coffee shops and restaurants have started limiting handing out straws to every customer unless it's requested. Some places even offer discounts if you bring your own reusable dishware. Now, that's all a great start, but there's so much more that we can all be doing. Here are some of the products that I use to help cut down on my own plastic waste.
I always use a reusable water bottle rather than a plastic one and a reusable thermos for my hot drinks. When I pack lunches, I also want to make sure to always bring utensils so I don't need to use plastic one-time single-use plastic that ends up in the trash can. So I actually have these. This set is really great. It's to go wear and um, Surfrider Foundation got it. And what's great about this is that it's wooden. So you can use it over and over again, wash it off, and it fits right up into your lunch bag. Now, sometimes people want to use straws and that's okay as long as you get a reusable one. So I got this great reusable straw from Sand Cloud and what's amazing about it is it's metal. So it actually keeps your drinks cold as it's coming through the straw and it comes with a little cleaner. So you never have to worry about your straw being dirty and it fits right up into your lunch bag along with your reusable silverware. And if you must use plastic, Plastic containers like this one that can be used over and over again are the better option. And finally, we always need a reusable bag if we're going to go to the beach or if we're going to the grocery store. So I always have my Ocean Connectors reusable bag in my car just in case. Ocean Connectors loves teaching students in National City and in Nayarit, Mexico, all about the importance of oceans and what we can all do to help protect the environment around us. And one way we can all help keep ourselves, the wildlife, and the ocean just a little bit healthier is by trying to cut down on our plastic use. Check out our activity page in the Day of Play activity book for a step-by-step -step on how to make your own beeswax wraps to help preserve your food in the fridge without the use of plastic wrap. One easy way to help reduce your plastic in your home. And always remember the three R's, reduce, reuse, and recycle. Thanks so much for watching my video and to get more information, you can visit us on the web anytime at oceanconnectors.org. Take care.